It seems like it was just only last week when I decided I wanted to make videos for YouTube, hang out with my friends and skate. I didn't have much of an idea on how to make videos or even how to edit and all I had to film videos with was my iPhone. As time passed I continued to study YouTube and I kept making videos and skating. YouTube has definitely helped me get outside my comfort zone and experience a whole lot of new things. I've shared massive parts of my life online for years now and I've had a whole bunch of fun doing so. I still remember when I hit my first 100 subscribers on YouTube and how accomplished I felt and how excited and happy and grateful I was to have that amount of people be interested enough in what I was doing to subscribe. Since then, I've just continued to skate and make more and more videos, learning new things with each upload. I've spent the best part of the last two years skating and filming, trying my best to push this YouTube skate thing here in Australia. I've learned new things about myself and also learned that if I really put my mind to something and focus, I can progress forward on and off the skateboard. Growing up, I never wanted to do anything else apart from skate, even just subconsciously. I've always been drawn back to just jumping on my board and rolling around when life got a little uncertain and strange at times. Learning how to be confident in front of the camera didn't come naturally to me and I had to allow myself to be vulnerable in order for myself to leave my comfort zone and continue to grow. I became self-motivated to skate as much as I could and make good use out of each session to try to film at more parks and have new videos for you guys to watch. I've come to learn I'm very stubborn and driven in what I want and what I want to accomplish for myself. There was never anyone else that was doing the same thing as me to bounce off and draw inspiration from directly and I felt alone and alienated because of that. I had a vision and I knew I was willing to put in the work and give everything towards making it happen. A lot of people didn't understand what I was doing and a lot of the people I was hanging around and skating with didn't want to support it or even accept it one bit. They made fun of me and told me I wouldn't be anything. I was alone and at times I was unsure if what I was doing would even work out. There had been a lot of times I've wanted to quit and delete my channel and just stop. Times were tough for me and at that point it was either quit and burn everything down I had built or keep pushing on forward. Knowing what I wanted for myself in life, I knew I needed to get out of the environment I was in and experience life elsewhere. September 20th, 2018, I packed my bags and I boarded a plane to California. This trip was like a catalyst to me and it added more fuel to the fire that was burning inside me to pursue the things I wanted for myself in my life. I got to skate so many red parks out there and I got to spend time with family. That trip to California changed everything for me. I experienced a whole new side to life and I really felt like I had found my sense of belonging there. I was too busy having fun and enjoying my time over there to worry about all the negativity and uncertainty I had gone through previously. I made friends with a whole bunch of like-minded people and got to experience skateboarding in its original birthplace. I met some really special people in the whole process and I got to experience the whole vibe and culture of LA. All the spots I grew up watching people skate in videos and online, I got to see them in real life and skate them too. I never knew skateboarding could be so amazing and its presence be so strong. Parks I got to skate were unbelievable and when I would visit them, I would feel like I was in a daydream. This changed my outlook on what I was doing completely and I knew from then on out I would continue to work hard and sacrifice to get towards where I wanted to be. The side of life I got to experience over there really helped me put things into perspective and put me back on track towards my goals and aspirations. I learned to trust my intuition and more importantly trust the process. Upon returning to Australia I continued to keep that nostalgic feeling of skateboarding alive within me and I've been able to use it as a driving force for what I'm pushing towards. As time has gone on, the right like-minded people have gravitated towards me with full support and positivity towards my goals. 
and also the general understanding of skating and YouTube here in Australia has boosted which has allowed me to feel more accepted and proud of how far I've come. As I celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers with you all, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed, clicked on a video of mine, left a comment or even just told me you dig what I'm doing and want to see me go far. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all.